Alright guys, what's going on? Troublemaker here, bringing you a WWE Battleground predictions video for the main event, or for the pay-per-view happening tonight. So, let's get it started with, just give me a second actually, let's see something, is this working? Uh, yes it is, okay. I was just making sure my camera was recording, I have to, I have to hold it kind of awkwardly. Swanton Bomb! Alright, so um, I'm going to kick things off with the kickoff match that's going on between Dolph Ziggler and Damian Sandow. Uh, you got two different complexions of wrestling moves here. You got Dolph Ziggler, who has an arsenal full of moves, and then you got Damian Sandow, who can probably do a lot of moves, but doesn't really sh showcase that in a majority of his matches. Um, I think that Dolph Ziggler is going to walk away the winner from this. Basically being, you know, he's, you know, he's been at the top of the mountain before where it's like, yeah, I'm going for the main championship, but he's been screwed out of it. And then, you know, Damien Sandow, he's, you know, he's like, he's one of the people that walks around with the get out of jail free card or the money in the bank, you know, just that instant, instant reaction. I'm going to cash it in, take the victory home. Now, if he was smart on a big scale he should build up his character he should get more airtime he should do a lot of things possible just to basically um you know push out his name out there and then go for the belt come wrestlemania cash in the money in the bank at wrestlemania you know granddaddy of them all out in new orleans but um we're gonna see how things go for that so the next match is Santino Morella and the Great Khali versus the Real Americans. Now, I'm a fan of the Real Americans. I love, you know, their humor. They're, they're bad guys, but you know what? They're jokes to me. They're funny, even though they're, you know, racist. I just laugh at it. I don't take it seriously. But so I want Jack Swagger and Antonio Cesaro who, ha, ha, to win. You know what I mean? Well, bang. And, um potentially become the tag team champions because with those guys as tag team champions i'm gonna tell you you're gonna have they're, like they're gonna have a lot more air time it's gonna be more controversial it might pick up some media reactions i'm telling you it's a good move in my opinion all right um the next match is gonna be kofi kingston versus bray wyatt now kofi bop 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 you're cool man but Again, I am a fan of the Wyatt family. Follow the buzzards. You know, so Bray Wyatt is going to take it. And come on, you know, it's common sense. When you have a, a stable, a group, and they have, you know, people outside the ring with them, they're going to get involved in some way, shape, or form. So Bray Wyatt has a lot of advantages into winning this match, you know. And he's going to plant Kofi Kingston with sisters abigail's kiss and just oh my gosh level the playing field set him down straight and tell you we're changing the world okay um there's gonna be the divas championship match uh yeah aj lee versus brie bella who is the wife of daniel bryan so aj lee's winning no doubt about it Brie Bell is a competitor that just comes and goes. She's not walking away with the belt. I don't think so. AJ Lee all the way. Psycho chicks. Whoop whoop. Um, all right. Cody Rose and Goldust versus the WWE Tag Team Champion Seth, Champions Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. How do we put this? I don't know if it's exactly I don't know if it's for the title. I don't think so, but listen. Cody and Goldust, they're going to be pulling off the victory tonight because I don't think they've ever actually got the opportunity to, to be each other's tag team partners. Like, they came in there as single competitors, and, you know, Cody was with um, Randy Orton's group at one point, and Goldust just solidified a whole generation, you know, brainwashed a bunch of people. <laughs> it was just a great character all on his own. You know, he's fantastic he's funny and you know he's a good wrestler too 
and he has a lot of heart. So I believe the Rhodes are going to, you know, on this battleground, they will win the battle tonight. And now we have the World Heavyweight Championship match. Alberto Del Rio versus Rob Van Dam in a hardcore rules match. Well, first of all, let me just tell you, hardcore does rule. Rock on. Next thing. Okay. Rob Van Dam. I approve of you winning. <laughs> I want you to win. Detroit is great, homie. But, yo, at the same time, I've been a fan of yours since I've first seen you. And I've only known you about you when the um, when the East WCW invasion happened back in the day. And you know what? Even though you were on the opposing team of ECW WCW, like, that was fine. I still liked and appreciated you as a person, as a wrestler, you know, like, I was rooting for Team WWF at the time, but, you know, RVD, like, you always put on a great show. You were amazing to watch, and you know what? Like, you just deserve to be on top, bro. Just deserve it. So, yo, just pull it off, and, you know, five-star frog splash, Alberto Darío, get him out. You know what I mean? Like, get him out of the championship scene, man. Make him go downward spiral and all that unhappy bad stuff. That's what I'm saying. Okay, and now the final match, um, CM Punk versus Ryback. <sighs> Where do we go from here? Punk's probably taking it. You know, Anaconda Vice and all. Um, he has a big challenge in front of him, though, because, you know, you got, you got Paul Heyman, you got Curtis Axel, all that sort of stuff. So, I want CM Punk to win, but... Uh, it's going to be a tough challenge for him. So Ryback is... Okay, so I want CM Punk to win. Ryback's probably going to win because of all the extra help that he gets. Ryback. Oh, man. He's a scary-looking man, you know, with a literature problem. But um, legitimately, you know, CM Punk is probably going to get his revenge on a bigger scale. Like, he might get his revenge at Armageddon or whatever they have at the end of the year. Because, like, this is just, just October and, like, you know, throughout the year, how many people get captivated by the smaller pay-per-views? This is a smaller pay-per-view. I think we just came off a big one not too long ago. But, um, seriously, like, Punk, just keep it up, man. Because, like, you, you know, you spit the truth and you got a mixed reaction between, like, you know, between the fans all the time, and you don't give a damn, though, you, you're in this to do it, and you stand for something, like, that's dope, you know, um, I don't approve of the reason that, you're the reason that Jeff Hardy left, you know, but what am I, what can I do, right, anyways, I hope that, you know, you win, and, Maybe Ryback and Paul Heyman can get a little closer, and Curtis Axel can get jealous and ax himself. <laughs> Hashtag gay joke. Anyways, um, that's you know that's all the matches that are listed. That's my predictions, and we're gonna see what happens. So thank you for watching. Hashtag Insanity Family Thirteen. Hashtag Join the Family. Whoop whoop. You know what it is. I'm Troublemaker, and we out this piece. Peace.